What is up guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to another video guys where today guys we're going to be opening up this level 9 clan chest Let me know down in the comments what level you got your clan chest in but let me just show you something real quick in my profile Yesterday I did hit my highest trophy which was 3384 But yeah guys let's go ahead and open this and oh my god Celtics just got the graveyard But yeah guys this um, clan chest does have 450 cards and 2700 gold Let's see what, if we get a legendary like Celtics but we got 99 spirits. Um, let's see what we get next. 22 goblins. Also, we got 28 archers. Um, five musketeers. I think we're done with the commons. Um, no, 48 cannons. Um, 50 minions. So that's okay. So minion horde. That's like two minions. And oh my god, mega minion. That's like three minions in a row. But four boulders. We did not get a legendary card. Um, this is still a good chest for what what you get in exchange but yeah guys we i did screenshot that and yeah so that's almost like a level an arena 10 super magical chest but yeah guys let's go ahead and go straight into a battle but i don't know what deck i want to use this golem elite barbarian deck or this lava hound balloon deck um i got like two of them but let's go ahead and use the golem deck first and then i'm gonna switch on onto the lava hound deck let's see who we get to face and we're going to be facing Elemental Master from Forever Clashing. That's like Forever to win him one, but I'm not really sure what I want to do. Um, okay, so we did play some minions. Let's go ahead and place this Musketeer on the left side. Oh my god, I did not mean to place it right there. I wanted to put it on the left hand side, but let's go ahead and put a Golem right here. Bring those three minions back together so that the tower is able to take him out. He did play some Mega Minion, but I think I want to put these Elite Brains right back. Oh, this ice golem man they just went completely in front so let's go ahead and arrow this skeleton army hopefully one elite barbarian gets to tower and oh my god that one elite barbarian is gonna be godly on that tower hopefully he doesn't have nothing to counter it but if oh my god that's like 1000 hit points off the tower like 2000 no not even 1000 like 2000 hit points on, off on one tower that's a lot for one elite barbarian so yeah he does have a lot of harm coming towards us so let's put this inferno tower right here Let's also place this Mega Minion right there on that balloon. Um, but yeah, oh my god, he's out there in front. Let's place his Musketeer to help out with that balloon so it doesn't get to the tower. And that Mega Minion did annihilate those other minions that he did place down. But that Musketeer on the left should take out that tower if it gets to the tower. Um, it gets one hit, two hits, and three hits on the tower before he, the Mega Minion kills her. Let's go ahead and place this Ice Golem for that Mega Minion. And I want to play some Elite Barbarians like right on the back of it. And yeah, hopefully they get to the tower. Oh my god, he has Tombstone. Okay, so let's try to see if we can, if he places the Skeleton Army and he's not. And he's, oh my god, he just placed it like right after. Um, but it starts down to 300 hit points. Let's place this Bowler down to the friend against the Skeleton Army because I do not want any hit points. Again, every hit point counts. But he did place a Lava Hound, which leads me to believe that. He's gonna ignore this bowler or something because I I know I know that's a tower But oh my god, so 81 hit points. Let's place his musketeer for those minions and place an infernal tower For that lava hound. Let's place um, an ice golem for that mega minion. Let's place some um, a mega minion and he did fireball and zap our musketeer and the and the mega minion is just hitting the lava hound Oh my god that balloon though Get it out of my face. Oh my god, that's tower, but I'm not that upset since we got his tower down to 81 hit points. Hopefully we can cycle back to some arrows um with only 20 seconds left. Let's hopefully get them. Let's place some elite barbarians down. Hopefully they get to the tower. He did play some skeleton army. Let's arrow the skeleton army, his lava hound, and the tower. And yeah, the bowler just completely annihilated the tombstone. And we'll get to the tower and get a lot of hits off before he places minions on it. He's trying to go for the three con though. Loud Hound, Balloon, Mega Minion. Oh, on my King Tower, let's place a Mega Minion on his balloon. And oh my god, another Lava Hound, and the minions are just targeting, and the Loud Pups and the Balloon. Oh my god, I cannot defend this. I can't even see this. Oh my god, how did he get that big of a push on me? I do not understand. <laughs> I did have to place a Golem to defend though, um, or to tank at the very least. 
But let's try to see if we can still come back from this with some elite sneak leap our brains down but oh my god he's not even letting me place anything and the balloon gets there and that that's game he did end up fireballing my tower too just to show how beast he was um we got five pounds left for a crown chest and yeah let's go ahead and switch to the lava hound deck right now um and yeah let's see how we do with this lava hound balloon deck i'm not i do not have a lot of experience with um a balloon deck um, I don't really use them. The only time I really actually used them was back in Bone Pit when the balloon was really popular um, at the beginning of the game. I've had this game since like the beginning. That's why I think I'm so into Arena or Legendary Arena or so good in the game. But I did have to place the Lab Hound right there to defend against that baby dragon and setting me up for a, a counter push with some minions. He did place a Bomber. I don't know why. But hopefully it doesn't have a, like a minion horde or arrows my minions. And oh my god, he didn't mirror my, I mean arrow my minions. Let's go ahead and fireball his minions. Hopefully the last ups get to the tower. And I think I'm just going to end up ignoring that bomber. Like I don't really care about the bomber. Even though it's going to deal around 300 damage on our tower. But we did get his tower down really low too. So let, oh my god, he placed the giant down. So let's place an inferno tower down right now. And hopefully he doesn't have like a wizard in the back of his giant because wizard and giant is really popular right now. Like it's not like the meta, but it, a lot of people do use that combo right now up in legendary arena. But let's place this balloon right in front of that mega minion. Hopefully we can get a beast push on his side. Hopefully it doesn't have minion horde or something like that. That'll just completely ruin my push. Um, but the balloon gets to start and oh my god, opponent left the match. Wow, he 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 gave up so fast. And that Mega Minion and Balloon are gonna get one shot on the tower, which is a big, like 1,000 hit points. But let's place this Lava Hound right there to tank, which will tank for both towers while the Skeleton Army does all the work. Let's try to see if we can sneak a fireball in, but we're not. This we're not a double elixir, and that's three crowns. Let's go against Maverick. <laughs> I don't even know how you say that name, but we got plus 28 trophies and we got a golden chest. Okay. So now we're only like two crowns away from a crown chest. Let's go ahead and go straight into another battle. See if we can get that crown chest black for you guys. But yeah, let's just leave the deck how it is. Um, but let's upgrade some cards before. So right now I think I'm gonna upgrade the mini pick up to level seven. It's been a long time since I haven't upgraded the mini pick up. I think I'm also gonna upgrade the Valkyrie. I think I'm gonna do be doing a hot traffic the video really soon, but I'm not sure. Um, you don't really see a lot of Hawks Respecto up in the ladder right now, or maybe even in a Clash Challenge, but let's, we're going to be facing, um, Chinese guy from Clan JTYW, I'm not really sure how you say his name, like, mostly every player in Clash Royale is Chinese, no offense Chinese people, but, <laughs> okay, so, I'm not really sure what I want to do, like, I'm probably going to do a balloon minion push since I do have minions right next, okay, let's go. Hopefully he doesn't have minion, oh my god, he does have minion horde. The only card that counters this combo is the minion horde. And he does, and the death damage does take out his um, minions. I did place a skeleton army for his elite by brains. He does place some fire spirits. But now before the skeleton army just demolishes his elite barbarians, which is really good for us. No hit points on our tower, and we only got around one hit with a minion or something on his tower. I'm not really sure what happened to star since it's damaged, but I think I'm gonna have be doing a Lava Hound, Mega Minion, and Balloon push. Hopefully we get enough elixir by the time that the Lava Hound gets to the river. He did place a Dark Prince which just lowers out my Mega Minion. Um, I think he knows this deck. I think he knows that the Mega Minion is crucial and he just listed a Dark Prince on trying to lower out that Mega Minion but he did place a Furnace. What a weird position for a Furnace. Let's go ahead and place a Balloon and he if he does place his minion horde again, I can fireball it, but not before the balloon dies. Okay, so our balloon died. Um, that's good news. Um, let's go ahead and zap that skeleton army, and hopefully that the lava hound does get to the tower. And yeah, the lava. Oh my god, he placed fire spirits. Which, oh my god, he. I didn't know that fire spirits could take out a whole lot of pups. But let's go ahead and put a skeleton army for his dark prince. I cannot afford any chip damage whatsoever. Let's go ahead and place his Mega Minions since he did lock our skeletons. And again, he's getting a lot of damage. But we got 
like 200 damage on both of his towers and we're heading into double elixir time let's go let's go ahead and place this lava hot right here since we're mad with elixir and oh my god that was like literally the worst time to place some um, lava hot like, yeah that's our i don't think i can defend against that and oh my god why isn't my zap thing oh my god i just wasted like two elixir on zap it didn't even place zap and i don't even have my zap back in rotation like what is that supercell? Please fix this. But let's place the skeleton army to counter skeleton army. Let's place some mega minion to accompany that lava hunt and the Zwaza balloon. And oh my god, that dark that mega minion what was just chasing that dark prince there for a second. The minion is retargeted onto the lava hunt the balloon at zero health, just demolishing the tower and getting only one hit. Um but oh my god, he placed a furnace which distracted my mega minion. Let's go ahead and place the skeleton army. And he did waste a log, so that's good for us. He has like um, a dark prince. Let's go ahead and fireball his left side tower, and we can potentially come back from this. Let's go ahead and zap his minion horde. The minion should get to a tower, but no, he places um um fire space. Let's go ahead and place a mega minion right there and a skeleton army to distract those daily barbarians. But he didn't have to end up logging it. So right now, currently. His right side tower is down to 1,300. He tried to lightning my tower down. I don't know why, but let's zap that tower. And yeah, that's game. That's game. He can't defend that. The balloon's death damage just got to the tower and de completely demolished it. And we got two crowns for the crown chest. So yeah, that's good. Plus 31 trophies, plus 20 gold. That's all good. So let's open up this crown chest live for you guys. Right there. Um, three gems, nine archers, eight rockets. 50 something bombers and one which we even got an epic card wow um but yeah guys let's go ahead and um just see the shop see what cards we can upgrade and we're only one card away to upgrade our goblin bro so i'm just gonna buy that and upgrade it live for you guys um but yeah guys this goblin barrel is gonna go up to level five my first level five epic card all the other ones are level three or level four but yeah guys hopefully you guys the Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, but my name is Axe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.